everybody, this is Daniel, and this is my Cancer Journey Video Diary Day 23, I think. Um, I'm going to keep it, I'm looking at my phone, see if it's 23 or not. Um, it has not been a really great day today. Yeah, take 23. Uh, I have the hiccups again. Uh, they gave me a medication this morning for it to stop, but... It really is not helping. It, they just come and go. On the bright side is the medication they gave me to control the hiccups in the morning puts me totally asleep. So I slept a long time when I got home from the, from treatment. Um, uh, uh, the medication they put in today, I can actually taste it. And it's all right here. So I kind of, and, uh, uh, I haven't been able to eat a lot of hot stuff. I mean, a lot of cold things because it makes it feel better. Um, I have my trusty spoon for gagging so I can stop hiccuping. I've had some uh, icy cups and a lot of cold lemonade. And there was some great Chinese food left over from last night, but I couldn't eat it. It's just too hot. <laughs> and then... Uh, the diarrhea is kind of starting to kick in a little bit, but it's not like that wet diarrhea. It's just uh, pooping, which they told me was going to happen anyway. But it's really hard when you want to poop, throw up, and pee at the same time. It's The bathrooms are not made for that. Um, I want to thank everybody who's been sponsoring my friend Maria uh, for... Uh, Maria Lynch for posting that uh, Indiegogo thing. Thanks everybody who's been uh, supporting. Thank you for your donations. I appreciate it. It's going to make uh, not working for the next several weeks a lot a lot less stressful. Um, so when I do get back to work, there'll be some extra funds in my account, so I'm not completely stressing out. Um, just not feeling it today. Just tired and irritated and thank you Christian who's who he ran off to Subway right now to get me a cold sandwich so I could eat dinner because hot just doesn't work well um, I was going to stop the hiccups before we started but I wanted you guys to really experience the hiccups as they come up and uh, uh, one thing that I did want to say is I'm getting messages of uh, still getting messages of I'm sorry and I have to be honest, I'm, I'm, it, uh, cancer sucks. It, cancer is horrible and it sucks and it's, it's, a, it's not the best, best way to start off the summer. But don't be sorry for me. I'm, I'm really, it's, it was cut early. Treatment's going to be fast. This tomorrow's the last day of chemo <laughs> until I start in four weeks again. And then I do it for another week, but at least I'll know what I'm to expect and I'll be a little more prepared. My hair's all sticking up. I'll explain that in a minute. But don't, please, don't write to me that you're so <clears throat> sorry. Don't be sorry for me. I, I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm one of the ones that is getting off easy on this. Early detection, fast tre <clears throat> treatment, great support system. Um, I think my morals and my, uh, my energy is pretty high. My sense of humor is still up there. <clears throat> um... So don't, don't write to me and say you're sorry that I'm going through this. No, it's a good thing because if I wasn't going through this, that means it wasn't detected. And if it wasn't det detected, I would be suffering longer. And then further down the line, there'd be bigger complications and something worse would have happened. So do not be sorry that, I, that, that, I, that we found it and that I'm going through treatment. Don't be. Don't, don't, don't write to me and tell me you're sorry for me. Be happy. Let's rejoice that this was <coughs> diagnosed early on and that I can have a high chance of normal recuperation and get back to work and get back to my great life. It's not it's not a bad thing. So please don't don't write to me. If you write to me that you're sorry, I'm not gonna answer your text. So just keep that in mind. And I'm pulling something up so I can show you guys. I'm I'm creating my uh I told you guys I was gonna do the uh the ads and uh, I don't know if you can see those. Can you see that? Okay. 
these are all over my Facebook and my Instagram. And uh, it's that little poster that I made. Thank you to my comadre Rita for the port photographs. Um, did an amazing job. Uh, and uh, But don't be sorry. I'm, I'm very happy that things got found out and that I'm going to be okay. Uh, again, I, tomorrow I turned in, I turned over the grenade, which is the little pump we named it, the grenade. Tomorrow I turned in the grenade and uh, I don't see it for another three weeks. Then I see it on the last week again for one more week and then we're done. Uh, so on the last day of treatment will be my last day of, the last day of radiation will be my last day of chemo, which is kind of awesome. As long as I don't miss any time, we're good. Uh, for those of you that want to help out, the only way you can physically help out is if you're around here at 7.30 in the morning in Laguna and you want to go with me to radiation, which takes all about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then I'm back home. So uh, things are not that rough. So I'll probably be alone a lot. Christian's going to go home these next three weeks uh, quite a bit so that I can take care of myself a little bit. I don't need him. I needed him during chemo. I won't need him that much during radiation because there's really nothing in my system, which is going to be shocking me. But uh, if you're, you, and y'all are welcome to come and visit. I'm not going to be on house arrest. So if you want to come by and visit, maybe bring me some food, that would be kind of cool, because I'm really not going to venture out much. Um, I'm just trying to stay put. Uh, but I love you guys. I'm going to keep it short today, because I'm going to go back on the couch and, and nap. Uh, I do want to leave you with a card. We're going to do a different deck of cards today. <coughs> Intentions. Set your intentions. This is a perfect, uh, today's a perfect day. Set what your intentions are for the future. What do you want for you? Be very specific. Be very clear when you set out your intentions. Do not generalize because the universe is listening and it will give you general things. Uh, my intention is to uh, eliminate cancer from my body so that I may continue on my personal and professional growth towards a better life. That's my intention. What's yours? See you tomorrow.